Yo, what's popping? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel, traders. I just want to talk about the importance of not just risk management, but not trying to follow into your trades, taking these challenges slowly, and just trading in general. There's a big problem with over trading and also changing your analysis. Now, with trading comes high risk, but also high reward. Depending how you look at it, every trade, it's a gamble in the end of the day. You're not 100% certain, even if you believe in it yourself, you don't know what it's gonna do. You can, there's obviously there's areas in the market which you just know it's gonna do something. If that's collapse, go bearish, or break through a structure, or even if it goes bullish, finds, finds collection of orders at some lower highs, doesn't break through the structure, bounces off impulsively and goes long. Now, this can happen either way, bullish or bearish now. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because even like today, I knew gold was going to around 1629, 1633. Because 1674 touched and my main target is 1678 pullbacks, we made highs and this is a liquidity grab down to the downside. And if you look on the 1H, the bullish engulfing lower high and the body is 1629, 1633. The bullish engulfing from the previous 1600 area to 16, around 1630, that bullish engulfing candle, that candle, that high is the respect, the previous lows of today. Now, them lows were 1633.30. Gold should now go long all the way to 1678. That's my predictions. I was in sales. It sold off loads. I moved my SL to entry and then I jumped back in the trade after getting close to break even. And if you're looking on the charts, it makes sense now the trade's played out. But I should have stuck to my sell analysis. There was a lot of noise about buys. I didn't know when the buys were going to come. As I said, I had the 1629-1633 area mapped out. And I ended up closing my sales, my re entry also for sales, and jumping in the buy and taking a minus one. Now I left the charts, I was working. You know, just making content, looking at the charts, always on my PC. Trading up coming 1633. I didn't jump in buys because I was too emotionally drained from trading. And this is another thing like, not depressed, it's the wrong word to use because, but it takes it out of you. Like right now with the trades today, because I had the right analysis for it, I'm gutted in a way because I should have catch the sales. And then I would have been confident when my sales come in at 1633. For the buyers, I'm hoping during Tokyo session we see pullbacks to 1633. We should do. We should see some sort of whip out. I'm praying that we do, so I can jump back in on Tokyo. We'll see, join up on the free trades. Last week in the free trades, we made some good profit. Just I think last Friday and mm. Monday, I've had losing days, and it just when I have losing days, it sucks. As I say, I show all my wins and I show all my losses in the groups. There's no BS behind it. It is what it is in the end of the day. Risk reward always plays, <laughs> plays in my favor. I rarely lose multiple, multiple, multiple trades. And if I send like two, three pairs, obviously you just risk 1%. One, 1 you don't need to over risk. And that's just basically how you trade. Make sure to never over risk. For people over risking right here, they wouldn't have made insane profits, you know. From sales at 1640, 1633 70 pips, 1633 1640 70 pips. That's 140 pips in a day. Using the 10 pip SL is 14%. It's unfortunate because that's what I should be up today. It should be up 14%. Should be up like over 40,000 on my 400k account. And I've got another video coming where it's 1.2 mil funding challenges that I'm doing. Stay tuned for that. As I said, I just wanted to make this video just talk about. The journey in trading sometimes and my experience today was a shit day. I got everything right, just psychology weren't there. I got emotional, I was over watching the trade. I was just over watching it and I just took too many, I didn't know what to do. My psychology left and I just, I didn't believe in myself. I don't know why I didn't. I was just overlooking on the markets and the noise was just playing into, into the negative 
factor of why I didn't make profit today. It was just, I shouldn't have listened, shouldn't have watched the market. If I just stuck to my analysis overall, walked away from the charts for a few hours, then it would have been fine. And that's, that's a big thing, walk away from the charts. It's difficult when I'm trying to make an insane amount of profit every single or most days to prove how good I am as a trader. As I said, there's a point where you can over trade and that's something you don't want to be doing. Usually you can just trade once or twice in a week, that's absolutely fine. But if you want to be trading every day, you know you're going to take losses. But you've got to believe your risk rewards are going to play a bigger part into that. And obviously, if you're following trades, it's all about entries, it's all about where you put your SL and stuff. If the trade is gone and it's already in profit, you don't just find the win. You set a buy or sell limit depending on what the trade is and then you get in there. But we can all learn, we're all learning, I'm still learning. Um, it's more of a case of it's more guttering and I'm pretty sure a lot of the people who watch this who can also trade, they'll be, and even if you can't really trade or you learn how to trade, it's the same thing, you know, you're in the trade, you then close out, you know it's coming in but you don't, you, you know, you just, you lose your head, everything goes down the, down the drain and you just have a bad day trading. And it's a learning curve for me, myself. I, I mean, I make these mistakes, not often, but self-doubt, it's because of these challenges. I'm doing 1.2 mil funding, so these cha I had self-doubt, obviously, a lot on the line. It's like five grand plus the, you know, 1.2 mil funding, which, you know, 10%, 120 grand, that's insane. It's just another, another road I have to come across, another problem I have to come across. I'll keep you updated on my trades for this week and obviously when the video comes out of the 1.2 mil funding, I'll bring it out. Hopefully it will be this week. Better days to come, as I said, the gold retraces back down to the lows, 1633 or 1629 buys into 1678, that will pass me the challenges. And if it doesn't, then I, you know, I was thinking gold. If it doesn't go up back up to 1678 now, then I don't know where it's going. And if it does go to 1678, I really think gold could sell to like 1450 right now. I just gold's in a weird place. It's just bearish overall on the daily, monthly. If you want to look at yearly, it's just going bearish. And the key supports we're starting to break below because of the 1600 level. If we break below 1600, then you know it's a GG. Thank you for watching, it's been Boy TJ. I appreciate all the support. Join up my groups, they're all free, no pain here. Check out my shorts, I upload two a day on this channel. I also do react videos, make sure to subscribe to them. You gotta check out my abouts. But yeah, until next time, I'll catch you boys in a bit. Peace.